Hi everyone, my name is Shrida from The Opera People and welcome to another episode of Kopi and Song. Now, Kopi and Song is a series to introduce singers to our audiences and last year we streamed 10 concerts live that featured mini recitals and chats. This year, our Kopi is definitely a lot more kao and we are featuring five singers playing our favourite word game, Sing That Word. And along the way, we will be talking about their life and careers, peppered with personal anecdotes and maybe even a few surprises. Today, I'm really excited to welcome tenor Jeremy Cole to the show. Welcome, Jeremy. Thank you, thank you. Thank Thank you for joining us. Um, So, are you ready to play Sing That Word? Can, I guess. I guess? Okay, (laughs) we'll warm you up with your first word, okay? So, the first word is hope. Hope. Uh, If I hope, I pine. If I fear, I faint and die. A song, uh, If I Hope, I Pine by... Philip Rosetta, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, can you tell us a little bit more about about the about the composer of the song? Okay, so basically it's a song from the 1600s, I think. Yeah, I think <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. not scholarly at all. You go. Know. Essentially, a song of being stuck in a situation where if you hope, you get disappointed, but if you don't hope, you feel even more in despair. Yeah, but I guess, you know, you have to listen to the song to kind of get the vibes, you know. Okay. Well, good, you got your first word correct. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> and does this song reflect a little bit of your Circuit Breaker experience? Oh. From last year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Circuit Breaker, beautiful. Okay, so what happened was I picked up a new instrument. Yes. Yeah, so I've been practicing every day to the horror of my in-laws and my wife. Uh, <laughs> it helped me relax a lot. Yeah, so I thought, yeah, there's still some, some value in music. So it's not so non-essential, okay, if you're listening out there. And you, if you can show us this beautiful instrument because you brought it with us with, with you today. Yes, so basically... Ah, so this is a, a classical guitar that I sort of invested in. During Circuit Breaker, I was playing on a guitar lele, which is a ukulele-sized guitar. And why did you choose the guitar? So the guitar essentially was the only instrument that was shipping (laughs) from the music shops. So I was not blessed with a lot of choices. Okay, so it was convenience but but good in a sense. So in a sense, this was a a lifesaver. It was portable. So I was thinking, hey, actually I can play and sing. Uh, When I was much younger, hey, you know, when I was just, you know... Just just last year? Just a few years ago. A few years ago. ago. Just be modest. (laughs) A few years back, a few years back, I used to play pop songs and I, I love uh, Westlife, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Things that y'all don't know. La, right? <laughs> right. So can you play a bit of Westlife for us? Ayo. Yeah, yeah, play la, la. come, come, come. I can't remember <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, how, how does it go? Yeah, la, but basically like that. I, have, oh, yeah. I need to have the scores, la, you oh, know, okay, classical okay. musicians. <laughs> very bad at improvising sometimes. Yeah, I always need, always need music, right? <laughs> Let's move on to your second word. Okay, okay. your second word is um, home. Home. <laughs> home. <laughs> And you, I don't want to do the Dick Lee one. Yeah, yeah. If, 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 it comes to you, if it comes to you, go with it. <laughs> okay, okay. How about the Beauty and the Beast, the musical? Is this home? Is this where I must learn to be happy? Shut away. Na, 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 who knows where? Home will be where the heart is. Uh, safe every night. And they, oh, that's the wrong yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, very good, very good. Remember. Home from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. <laughs> um, so do you... Like in the past, did you do a lot of like musical theatre stuff as well, or is it something that you've also done recently? No lah, I think that one. I think everybody is kind of secretly. Yes, you know, everybody in secretly love. wants to do yeah. musical theatre, right? <laughs> so, so it's not a, it's not a new thing. It's not a new thing. Uh, yeah, and then because if you, you know, when you teach, you know, like students, and then most of them would also like a little bit of musical theatre. So, uh, and also, Beauty and the Beast is one of the first. It's, no, it's actually the first musical where uh, I got involved with in secondary school. Oh, okay. Yeah, the very first concert, the very first singing experience I had, and that's where I met my wife as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. As in she was also involved? Correct. Okay. So I was a candlestick and she was a vi- villager. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Isn't it all the, the, whole, the whole musical or like parts of the musical, is it? I think it's selections, la, but they packaged it in a way whereby the stories will flow. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was at Victoria Concert Hall. Wow. First time I saw, they changed the light colours. <laughs> they didn't know they can do that. <laughs> Alright, so your next word is tesoro, which is the Italian word for beloved. Mm, okay, I think this one every tenor will know. <laughs> so, <laughs> Il mio tesoro from Don Giovanni. So, uh, Il mio tesoro intanto, andate, andate a consolar. Ed el bel ciglio il pianto, cercate di asciurgo, cercate. Cercate, cercate di asciurga, cer... Mm. You continue for me? <laughs> <laughs> the part everyone fears, the yeah, long the, hell note. You must stuff the air into your mouth. <laughs> when did you start singing? I started singing in secondary school. Before that, uh, I was in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Very nerdy, I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I, I tried... Uh, I didn't try choir. Actually, we're all forced to join choir. Yeah, then from there, that was my first singing experience. I thought it was really fun. I was a bad student in secondary school, so I failed everything. Uh, but turned up for every single choir practice. Yeah, so from there, when it came to the exams and all, there came a turning point. I treated preparations for exams like rehearsals. So I scheduled what subjects, how many pages we're gonna nail, and then from there, I thought music was a, a game changer for me. So I, I decided, uh, finish O levels, straight into music, and that's when I started singing solo, yeah, at the Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts. So were you into opera from, from quite early on when you started NAFA, or did it take a while for you to get into it? Um, and, and what sort of, what, what do you find interesting about it? No, yeah, I, I definitely didn't go to NAFA to be a, uh, 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 opera singer. Yeah, it was actually more of a... I was more interested in being a choral conductor. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. And then I remember my teacher brainwashed me. Uh, he, he said something like, oh, why do you want to sing when... Uh, why do you want to do conducting when you can sing it yourself? I was thinking, oh, that's kind of true. Uh, why not? <laughs> so then from there, I, he gave me a stack of CDs to listen to. He claims that it's uh, to see what kind of music I like. Yeah, but I think it's just a total, total brainwashing uh, program that he's, he's, he's up to. Yeah, and then from there, I, I, I found some nice tunes and all that. And uh, it got me started with some operatic repertoire. Um, yeah, and I started singing as baritone. That's how, that's how we met. Yeah, that's how we met. Yes, I know. <laughs> so, ancient history. Uh, <laughs> ancient, no. Uh, few years, few years. Few years, few years. <laughs> Okay, so your next word is dolce, which is the Italian word for sweet. Sweet. Dolce, dolce. How about this one? Si dolce tormento che in seno mi sta, ch'io vivo contento per cruda beltà, nel ciel di bellezza, Sacreschi fierezza e manchi pietà che sempre squal scoglio all'ondor d'orgoglio mia fede sarà. Yeah, yeah. Like that. yeah <laughs> cool. so that's uh, si, uh, si Dolce Tormento uh, uh, by Monteverdi. Yeah, so Monteverdi is also known as the uh, grandfather of opera. So this is one of the first pieces that I, I picked up because it's pretty nice and uh, <laughs> the chords are like pop songs. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I, I immediately okay, learned it. Learned it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so what, like, what are the other kinds of songs that you now play on your guitar as well? Well, I actually have this uh, really old Yamaha beginner's uh, guitar method book that I picked up. So, quite a bit of little tunes like... by composers that I haven't learned in school before, so it was very refreshing. Uh, yeah, it took my mind off a lot during the circuit breaker as well. So, yeah, so that's how I started on this okay. thing. And what's your like favourite song to play? Ooh. This one that sounds like... Uh, Blackbird. Okay. 
something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember by who. I think Karuli or, or some. Hey, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the music you hear when you go Muji. You know, there's always the, the, the guitar <laughs> soundtrack, right? It's yeah. like very like relaxing when you go and shop in Muji. It reminds me a lot of that. Maybe maybe I'm playing in the back. Um, in, I know, the, yeah, behind maybe, the yeah. door. Yeah, actually, maybe maybe it's live. It's actually live musician for, yeah, in every Muji. You never know. <laughs> got to, hard times, hard times. You got to do what you got to do. So Jeremy, maybe you can share with us uh, how we can follow you on social media. Okay, my Instagram handle and YouTube handle is at Jeremy Co Tanner. That's J E R E M Y K O H T A N O R. A little bit long, but yeah, you should be able to find me there. <laughs> okay, cool, and um, yeah, and hopefully we'll see more guitar videos on there. Hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeremy, thank you so much for joining us today, and see you around soon. Yeah, thank you for having me.